Hi everyone, today I will be showing you how to transfer all of your lipsticks into a palette like this. This is exactly 24 shades and this is what it will look like after I am done showing you, so let's begin. This is somewhat of an overview of the products that you will need. This is the Bodyography Artistic Palette. It retails for $16 at MikasaBeauty.com. If you use my promo code link below, you will save 25% off of this palette along with the Bodyography Spatula for Artiste Palette Knife. For those of you who are unaware of the Back to Mac program, if you give them six full-size Mac Cosmetics products, they will let you choose one free lipstick, one free eyeshadow, or a free lip gloss. So this is the reason why I have a lot of MAC lip products in Ziploc bags. And then you also want to grab 90% alcohol. I have mine stored in this little itty bitty Sunny container right here. And then this is the Pro Palette insert that holds 24 from MAC Cosmetics along with the large Pro Palette that has only one side. A girl, you are going to need so many Q-tips. I would just take the whole case if I were you. That was not enough. I bought these stickers from the 99 cent store. I'm only going to be using the blue section that has no label and then a pen, Avi. I am unpackaging the Pro Palette Large Single Compact. And this retails for $8 on their website. I have the Duo Compact, but I think for a lip or, or any kind of palette that you're trying to make customizable, this one would be best just because it looks so pretty once it's finished. And then this is the Pro Palette Customize Times 24 Insert. It holds 24 wells. It's customizable for all formulas. These are super extremely affordable. I was shopping online on Amazon, just checking out what empty palettes retail for or inserts, and there was some that retailed for a lot, so I would definitely check out MAC. First things first, I am going to sanitize every well with a Q-tip and alcohol just to make sure everything is extremely clean, and then I'm going to dry that out as well. This is a brand new lipstick, so it's going to be extremely easy taking it out. I'm going to take it out with a Ziploc bag. I'm just going to pop the lipstick all the way to the top, and then I'm going to twist it, and then it'll just pop off if it is brand new. If it's not brand new, this is not going to happen. It's going to be a little struggle, and I'm just going to pull the Ziploc bag inside out like that. I think taking the sticker off from the bottom of the lipstick is a little bit time consuming, but you could do this and leave it on the Ziploc bag so you won't forget what the lipstick is called, but if you do not want to take that route, then you can use a Sharpie to write the entire name of the lipstick on the Ziploc bag. Next, I'm going to be using the palette knife and then just splitting the lipstick in half. And then I'm going to go in by smushing it all the way down until it is extremely soft and creamy. If you don't want it to be absolutely creamy and perfect, then you really can ditch this route and just smush it and then add it all in there. But I did want mine to be super creamy and packed all the way into the well rather than just looking like a complete mess but as I mentioned before whatever your preference is you're going to add a little bit of the product and then you are going to repeat that step until it is completely packed with the palette knife just move it in forward motions like that to get the excess to make sure you don't waste any of the product then write the name of the lipstick and any other important information on the sticky and then stick it right 
in the back of the well. You can save the remaining part of the lipstick in a Ziploc bag or pop it back into the lipstick. And then make sure you use tissues to clean this because I was struggling with a napkin. Um, tissues and alcohol will literally work with one to two wipes. Repeat these steps and make sure you clean the outer edges of the well after adding the lipstick as you go. And if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching.